Take me to the Boston Globe on Morrissey Boulevard. Don't take 93, take Dorchester Avenue. Robbie, it's incredible. Law knew about Gagan for years, no question. There's a letter to Law from a woman, Margaret Gallant, who lived in Jamaica Plain in the early 80s when Gagan was there. Listen to this. Our family is rooted in the church. Our desire is to protect the holy orders. Even in the midst of our agony over the seven boys in our family who have been violated. Seven, Robbie. Seven boys. It was suggested we keep silent. We did not question the authority of the church two years ago, but since Father Gagan is still in his parish, but she sent it to law, and law did shit. Here's another one to law, same year. Listen to this. A word on the recent assignment to Father Gagan as an associate at St. Julia's in Weston. Father Gagan has a history of homosexual involvement with young boys. I understand his recent departure from St. Brendan's may be related to this problem. I wonder if Father Gagan should not be reduced to just weekend work while receiving some kind of therapy. You know how grateful I am to you for your constant concern. Sincerely yours and our Lord, Most Reverend John M. Darcy, Auxiliary Bishop of Boston, December 7th, 1984. An Auxiliary Bishop wrote that? That's incredible. Well, he broke ranks. I mean, when did Gallant write her letter? 1984. And Law just ignored it. How do you ignore that freaking letter? We got him. You can't read these letters and think anything else. It's proof. Yeah, it is. This is good work. Should we take it up to Ben? Uh, no, not yet. Why not? We, we got law, this is it. No, this is law covering for one priest. There's another 90 out there. Yeah, and we'll, we'll print that story when we get it, but we, we gotta go with this now. No, I'm not gonna rush the story, Mike. We don't have a choice, Robbie. If we don't rush to print, somebody else is gonna find these letters and butcher the story. Joe Quimby from the Herald was at the freaking courthouse. So we'll write a holding story and we'll keep our eye on the Herald. Keep our eye on the Herald? Yeah. They run this and they get it wrong, the church will bury it. We, we gotta do this now. Mike, Mike. What? Why, why are we hesitating? Barron told us to get law. This is law. Barron told us to get the system. We need the full scope. That's the only thing that will put an end to this. So let's take it up to Ben, let him decide. We'll take it to Ben when I say it's time. It's time, Robbie! It's time! They knew, and they let it happen to kids! Okay? It could have been you, it could have been me, it could have been any of us. We gotta nail these scumbags, we gotta show people that nobody can get away with this, not a priest or a cardinal or a freaking pope! You finished? Yeah, I am. This is bullshit. <laughs>